Good morning, good afternoon, y'all. Welcome to this mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Um, it's, I really wish I could uh, do a more in-depth uh, program about this. Um, and it really hurts my heart. I saw uh, this video with Poison Ivy, which is Boosie's oldest daughter. And everybody knows that, you know, she's in the life. And her testimony hurt me so bad to my core because uh, there's no other feeling like the feeling of being rejected by your parents. And your parents calling you names, calling you um, names that, you know, that's really reserved for street people outside the street. You really wouldn't feel your father, especially your father, the person that produced you, to talk crazy to you like this. I've been there, baby girl. It was a long, long, long time ago, but it took a long, long lot of recovery and a lot of therapy to be at peace with the first man I fell in love with calling me names that um, is just unbearable for a daughter. Especially a first daughter like in her case or an only daughter like me. And because I didn't live up to my father's expectations of me. All the relationship that I thought I had because everybody knows that if you saw my dad, you saw me. That's how close we were. And when he perceived me doing something that he just could not wrap his arms around, he went in on me. And it hurt me so bad. It's almost as if he knew that that would crush me. And the thing about it, it crushed me so bad. And I don't wish this on this child right here. So this message is going to go for Boosie. Because, see, your kids will turn their back on you. you. You know, people say, honor your mother and father, that your days may be long. But the Bible also speaks about don't push your children and people to wrath. Don't give them the reason to hate you. Uh, so when people say stuff like that to me now, I used to couldn't do it, but now I'm so past that I can say, listen, if my parents don't have no more common sense than to disrespect me the way that this girl has been disrespected, then I really don't have nothing to say to them. I don't care who they are. No individual got no business breaking nobody's spirit like that. Nobody has the right to do another human being like that. And so it's because it's your daughter what you think she... Because she going to love you. She loves you on a cellular level. She can't help it. Like I love my daddy. I loved him on a cellular level. And that's why when he got into a car accident, there was nobody to take him but me. Even though we had been estranged from each other for decades. You hear me? For decades. Because I said, let me tell you something, brother. I'm more like you than you think. Because you don't get the right to insult me. And call me names. And then think, I'm, on, I'm, I'm, I'm going to not internalize this. And I don't know how it's going to manifest itself. But I know I won't. I, I'm just going to get away from you. I'm going to practice no contact because you're mean and you don't have any right to invalidate me just like Boosie had no right to in talking about she going to contaminate his other children. Oh, my God. I can't believe. See, any sane and rational person wouldn't even do their child like this. That's why I said... Um, this girl, she had to speak up for herself. 
you can only love your father so much because you're going to love him forever. That's your dad. But you don't have to like him. And you don't have to put up with his shit. That I know. You don't have to put up with him insulting and disrespecting you because you his daughter. Iviana is a, a good rapper. A beautiful young lady. A great rapper. As far as rap goes, she just like him. She spit them bars. And instead of you looking at the talent and the beauty in your daughter, she said a lot of stuff. You never helped her. Why you don't get on a feature with your daughter? Why you can't do that? Because you're trying to impress people. Let, let me hear what she has to say because... Mm-mm. The whole world know that. Um, and it's it been about two years now that I'll I be quiet. I keep quiet on the shit. I wouldn't say nothing. You know, I just go with the flow. I did everything in my power to understand that this is my father, regardless. Like, I'm going to accept him and love him for who he is. So, I just seen he recently did an interview with Carisha. And he used the word contaminated. Mm. Mm. And putting my siblings in it with that. Mm. If you know me. She love her siblings. She made me so mad. If you know me. Mm. 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 She hurt me. Sure. I love and respect my siblings with everything in me. And they respect me and love me with everything in them. When you get on their nerves, I'm who they call. My siblings, most of my siblings, teenagers. Teenagers, you don't want to let grow up. But okay. Another thing. You keep speaking on me gay. You keep, keep doing interviews and I don't say nothing, right? The first ever interview you did, you said you found out I was gay, that I like girls and I had a girlfriend from a picture that went viral. That was a lie. I let that slide. I never addressed it. You found out I was gay a year before that. The incident happened in Jamaica when I was a gay B-word, when you called me a gay B-word. So if the world really knew all the things and the hurtful things you told me before mm. and I forgave you, mm. Mm. You and he understand. And no matter how you feel, at the end of the day, nigga, I'm your blood. That's right. That's right. I am your daughter. The flesh of his flesh and the bone of his bone. The flesh of his flesh and the bone of his bone. And you could bruise her and hurt her because you think that she's a possession. You, most of y'all, and I, I'm just going to make it plain because I, I don't know what no other say it, it's a way to say it. Most of y'all ghetto ass, ignorant ass niggas, most of y'all that got babies by a thousand Women, because you don't respect women, okay? Most of y'all that live your life like that, you think that love is a gift. I mean, it's a possession. But it's a gift. A precious gift. And you can ruin your children with your snake and hateful last words. Some of y'all don't even care. Some of y'all think that you own your children. Some of y'all think that you own their feelings. How in the hell is a father going to call his daughter a gay ass bitch? I guess the same way someone, a father could say, is you eating out women boxes? Hurtful things. 
that a father can say to his daughter that leave a scar on her heart. That leaves a scar on her heart forever. And all you doing is breaking her down to the lowest common denominator. Is that what you want to do? Is that what make you feel proud? To attack your daughter? And what she like? That ain't your life. You lived your life. And you living it. With all them damn kids you got every damn where. And look how disgusting that is. She ain't never judged you. She loved her. She loved her siblings. And here you is sitting up. You need somebody to love you. Some of the most hateful things that you've done and the dirt that you've done. And the only thing you going to say is because she gay? And she going to contaminate the other children? Brother, you need help. Tell about y'all Southern Baptist. If you was you Southern Baptist when you running around and got them uh, was you Southern Baptist when you running around there putting so called hits allegedly on people? Was you a Southern Baptist when you out there when you was drinking lean and doing whatever you was doing, disrespecting your temple of God? Huh? What about all the times you've been to prison? And your baby said she couldn't wait for her daddy to get out. And I can see her now. About five years old. I want my daddy. want my daddy to come home. And so this is how your daddy treats you. Because... You won't, you won't allow him to live your life for, for him. I just want to say, um, keep your head up, Aviana, because you are right. You are right. You continue to do what you do. Cause, and I'm not trying to get you, and nor would I want you to say anything to um, hurt even more fracture the relationship that you have with your father. But I'm glad to see you standing up for yourself because you deserve it. You deserve for him to stand up for you. And see, these Negroes that's out here, you don't find somebody that accepts their children. They'll talk about a Dwayne Wade, see, or they'll talk about a Marlon Wayans because they love their children. And nothing that their children could do could stop them from loving them. Nothing. Least ex uh, um, um, her sexuality, that's the least thing on my list. You got parents that go and visit their kid in jail for murder, for robbery, all types of wicked shit. And here you is rejecting your daughter and calling her gay bitch because she likes same-sex relationship. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. But I ain't going to tell you. Life going to show you. See, life going to show you just like it showed my father. Just like it showed my father. He never thought that he would be looking in my face again. And that was the sad part, because I love my daddy. I can't help but to love him. But I didn't like what he did to me. I didn't like how he treated me. I don't like how he snapped on me. That's how I figured out, and I knew that my father was a, a severe narcissist. See? And these people with this pers these personality disorders think they have a right to judge other people. When they need extensive therapy and help themselves because their behavior is not normal. Oh, your family might have normalized it because you get paper. But it's not normal. 
And it's not normal for a father to talk about his child that way. If you need to do like Marlon said, go in the corner somewhere so you can get your mind right about this. Because at the end of the day, it still ain't you. And you have no right to live somebody's life for them. Oh, you know, the, this this is on Twitter. And I just gave you a snippet of it. So you can go on Twitter and hear the whole thing. Or was it Instagram? One of them. Aviana Hatch. It took a lot of courage to do what you did, girl. And you stand up for yourself. Don't let your father drag you down with his hateful, uh, just, oh, venomous words. You don't deserve it. And you don't have to take that. So I want to know what y'all think. Y'all think it's fair? Y'all think it's okay for her daddy to talk to her that way because he found out, I mean, because he knows she gay? Is that, and that she going to contaminate the rest of the kids? But he not going to contaminate them with all the drugs and shit he got. Boy, let me. Okay. I want to know what y'all think. Leave your comment below, and I'll see y'all in the next video.